What's up everybody? Advent Child here. Going to do a quick review of my Yukon NVRS night vision scope. And um, there it is. <clears throat> kind of try to give you a quick view of it. I don't have the best lighting in here, but so you have your reticule brightness knob. This first uh, down position is just the on position. Turn your reticule on, and this second click down is to turn on the infrared light, which is right here. It also comes with this little cable you can plug in, and um, you know you can attach it to your foregrip. So there's your reticule, and there's your infrared light. It won't do anything if you just try to turn on the infrared light, but if you turn on your reticule and then turn on the infrared light, you're good to go. <clears throat> so that's that. A um, couple things I'm going to say before I show you you know, what it does is uh, it's a pretty heavy scope. Um, but, you know, it's, I mean, it's not terrible, but yeah, it's, it's pretty heavy. And, um... The uh, battery case, you know, is kind of in a bad location. Um, here's where you put your two batteries. And so, you know, it's not great. I really haven't had too much problems with it. Not as bad as people are making it out to be or nothing like that. So <clears throat> I wouldn't worry too much about it. And plus, uh, it's supposed to have pretty good battery life, I think. Um, like a thousand hours off those two batteries. So you shouldn't have to change it too often, you know. Hopefully if you do, you're not in a combat situation, <laughs> life or death or anything like that. So, all right, well, I'm going to get down to it here and just uh, show you what it does. I'm not going to bring it outside right now, but um, so right now, you know, this is just a somewhat well-lit room, you know, not great. <clears throat> but um, there's the view through the scope. And... Uh, there's the reticule. It's kind of tough to see, you know, through a camera, but, you know, the, the sight picture is actually really good. Really good. Really crisp, you know, and um, not bad at all. And that's uh, with the lens cover on here. It's just got this little pinhole in it. Another thing is that on really well-lit days, it's not gonna work very well I mean it's it's hard to see the reticule when it's really bright outside but you know you could probably um, just put a little piece of screen over it or something and you know you'd be fine so alright now I'm gonna go look over here everything's gonna go dark for a little bit but if you just hang on I'll show you uh, so this is with the lens cap still on and there's the reticule you can't see too much in the dark but then when you turn on your infrared light then, you know, you can basically see everything. And you can just, you know, see my front sight there. And the rest of it's hard to get. But, um, okay, now we'll uh, <clears throat> pop the lens cap off. Or not off, but flip it up, I should say. And now you can see the picture is really good with that lens cap up and this is with the infrared light off so once you turn that infrared light on everything gets lit up big time and uh... it does give a little bit of red light off in the tube I don't know if you can really see it or not but Not really, but you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it giving away your position some, unless somebody is uh, looking directly at it. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, but uh, you know, like I said, it's a little bit heavy. I haven't really got a chance to shoot it yet, you know, so I can't really comment on how accurate it is or anything like that, but I think it's within uh, 2 MOA. Um, one other thing I'm going to say is it's really easy to mount. It took me like 20 seconds, you know, and uh, I don't know. My rifle has a built-in rail. That's just a style I went for, but, you know, it's uh, pretty easy to get rail, and 
comes with the mounting brackets and everything like that, which is pretty nice. So um, if you guys have any, you know, questions or comments, um, let me know. You know, I'll try to get back to you, and I hope this helped. Later.